Welcome back to Anton Math. Now we've been talking about functions and in this video I'm going to talk about two very important properties for a function and that's a one-to-one -one function and an onto function. Now not all functions are one-to-one -one and not all functions are onto uh, but when we have those properties we can say a lot of stuff about the inverses which we'll get to next video. But first let's not jump ahead of ourselves. First we got to understand what one-to-one -one and onto means. So we say that f is one-to-one -one, and we'll sometimes just write it 1-1 one -one for shorthand. If for every a and b in the domain of f, f of a equals f of b implies that a equals b, right? So if I have two images that are equal, that means that they were both mapped to by the same element of my domain. So in other words, every element in the range of f is the image of a unique element in the domain, right? So I wouldn't have something like uh, f of 1 equals 1 and f of 2 equals 1. While that would still be a function, that would not be a one-to-one -one function because I would have two images that are the same, but the elements in the domain that are creating those images are different, right? So that's what a one-to-one -one function is. And we say that a function f is onto if the range and codomain are the, of f are the same. So in other words, if we have this function f defined from s to t, f is going to be onto if and only if the range or the image of s is equal to t exactly. So that is every element of the codomain is an image of f for some element in the domain. Okay. Now I'm going to do an example here uh, so we can try to illustrate this a little bit better. So I'm going to say, I'm going to let my function f of x equals x squared. And I'm going to define this on some different sets and we're going to decide whether or not this is one to one, onto or neither. So if I define f from the real numbers to the real numbers, and we want to see if this is one to one or onto. Now it's going to be one to one if x squared is not the same thing for multiple values of x, but obviously f of one is one and f of negative one is one, so this is not onto, or sorry, not one to one. Now it's going to be onto if every element of the real numbers is going to be in my range. But my range here is only going to be non-negative real numbers, right? We're taking all of the real numbers and we're squaring them. So if you remember the graph of this, it looks kind of like a parabola. Well, it is a parabola. Right? So my range is all going to, it's going to be all of these values that are at zero or greater than zero. So none of these negative values are in my range, but they are in my codomain. So my range and my codomain are not the same. So this is not onto. All right, now what if I define f from the natural numbers to the natural numbers? We want to see if this is one to one. Now it's going to be one to one if any image is obtained uniquely, right? So all my images here are going to be squared natural numbers. So the question is, are there any x squareds where x is a natural number that can be obtained from two different natural numbers x? And, and the answer is no. This is going to be one to one. The reason is that the natural numbers don't have any negative values. So I'm not going to have any multiplicity in my images from different elements in my domain. Each element in my domain is going to give me a unique image. Right? It's going to be different from any other element in my domain. Now what about onto? Onto means that x squared, or all the possible values that x squared can be for natural numbers, is going to be all natural numbers. But it's clearly not onto because, for example, 5 is a natural number, but 5 does not equal any other natural number squared. So this is going to be not onto again. All right, let's try a couple more. If f is defined from the real numbers to the non-negatives, right, so r greater than or equal to 0, uh, first I want to see, is this one to one? OK, well, I'm going to positive reals. This is my new uh, codomain. But I'm still coming from reals. So that means that I'm going to have f of 1 equals 1 and f of negative 1 equals 1. So it's still not going to be one to one. However, now look, my codomain is all real numbers greater than or equal to zero. And we already decided that's exactly what my range is, right? My range is all these y values that 
are here, and that's going to be from 0 up infinitely. So that's all non-negative real numbers. So this is onto. So yes to onto. One more. What if I define this function from the non-negative reals to the non-negative reals? Now if I'm only taking the values 0 and up and squaring them, I'm still going to get this half of my graph up here, right? I'm still going to have my images are going to be all non-negative reals. So this is going to be onto, just like our previous example here. But the question is, now that I don't have any negative values in my domain, is this going to be one to one? And go ahead and take a minute to convince yourself of this, but yes, this is going to be one to one. If my domain is just non-negative real numbers, then each element of my domain is going to correspond to a unique element in my range, right? There's not going to be any multiplicity there. So this is both an onto and a one-to-one -one function. We call that a bijection. A one-to-one -one and onto function is called a bijection. And it's going to be very important in the next video when we talk about inverses of functions. And we'll see you there.